Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here. So, here it is. After what seems like years of anticipation and speculation, the Apple AirTags. For an Apple product that firmly ingratiates itself with the new ecosystem, I must admit I was a bit surprised to buy the £29 price tag or four for £99. It doesn't seem very Apple-like to have a low price like this, but I'm not complaining. Unboxing is as unremarkable as you'd think. Apart from the AirTag, you get all the usual Apple literature. Looking like a large white button that you find on a knitted cardigan, this to me is very Apple-like. On its rear, the familiar Apple logo surrounded by the only wording on the product, all on the removable metal battery cover which houses the flat disc battery. Apple say that the AirTag's low power consumption will mean that the battery will last you for more than a year, which is comparable to the tile tracker and a little bit more than the smart tag that you get from Samsung. And when it's time to replace the battery, you'll get a notification on your iPhone. I'd have liked to send the AirTag probably a little bit thinner as I'll be putting it in my wallet, more like the depth of a coin, as this would make it less defining in smaller, thinner wallets. Installation should be as easy as putting the AirTag next to your iPhone, and thanks to the ultra wideband technology within the AirTag, this is possible. You are also able to add devices within the Find My app. You start by naming your AirTag, either by location to where you'll be attaching it, or giving it a custom name. Once you've done this, it will now begin to register the device to your Find My network. In my case, probably due to a faulty AirTag, I was unable to connect the two devices together and kept getting the message, could not complete AirTag setup, make sure your AirTag is nearby and try again, despite it being less than an inch away from my iPhone, as you can see. I lost count how many attempts it took, but after numerous attempts at connecting, restarting the AirTag and the iPhone, changing rooms to connect and making sure all my settings were correct, I finally got them connected and added to my Find My network of devices. I've named my AirTag backpack and by looking at the Find My app you can see that there is a signal showing its location. I've obviously zoomed out for privacy reasons, but when I zoom in it does show the correct exact location. There are two ways of tracking the AirTag, firstly the classic way on the Find My app which displays the current location of all your compatible devices including any device the AirTag is attached to. As you can see here my iPhone, Apple Watch and AirTag are all in the same location and this was all observed by my iPad which was at home. The second way and more relevant if the AirTag is nearby, instead of the proximity radar of the area that your device is in, with the iPhone 11 range and newer, also within the Find My app, you're able to access position finding, which is really useful, particularly if you've lost your connected item at home and you need to find its exact location. You are directed with pinpoint accuracy to your item, with it even showing the direction it's in. Once again, all down to the ultra wideband technology. Think of it like a sat nav to your AirTag. If you've not got access to precision finding, you can also request the AirTag to play a sound to help you find it if it's nearby. Now, let's imagine a scenario. You've lost your wallet which has your AirTag in. You didn't realise at the time that it slipped out of your pocket and it's lying about somewhere and someone with a compatible iPhone or Apple device within the Find My Network detects the Bluetooth signal being emitted from the AirTag. Because of this, you'll get a notification of its last known location within the Find My app. And if you have lost mode enabled, this will allow the AirTag to notify you of its exact location when someone else finds it. And when someone does find it, you're able to leave a telephone number and a brief message to help the finder contact you when they do have it. Rest assured, because the AirTag is registered to your Apple ID, it's locked to you, and only you can retrieve tracking information from it. The way Apple have designed the recognition of the AirTag by other iPhones and NFC enabled smartphones, when lost mode is enabled on the AirTag, if the finder has a compatible Android phone or iPhone, all they'll know to do is tap and hold the white side of the AirTag to the phone and they will get a notification directing them to a website, just like scanning a QR code. This website will have all the details to contact you and any message you've left to help you reunite you with your lost item. But this practice only works if the person who finds the AirTag has the knowledge of what to do if they do indeed find one. Privacy is important to Apple, and with the AirTags, their focus on privacy has continued. AirTag location data is not stored on the AirTag itself, and any Find My devices that ping the location of a lost AirTag also remain anonymous, retaining the security of both you and others. A lot has been made of the potential ability for someone who owns an AirTag to plant one on someone else and track their movements. To combat this, if your iPhone detects a travelling AirTag with you that's away from its owner, then your iPhone will alert you to its presence. If it's still undetected after that, the AirTag will play a sound, alerting you audibly of its presence. You will then decide what to do with it, whether it's an actual lost AirTag that you want to reunite with its owner, or take another course of action. 
Although this method works if you have an iPhone, it'll be interesting to see what happens if someone is tracked and they don't have an iPhone that notifies them of a foreign AirTag's presence. You can customise your AirTag with free engravings when you make your purchase on the Apple website or even buy a loop or keychain so that you can attach it to your keys, luggage or any other item that you want to keep track of. I purchased this silicon loop from Amazon which I'll leave a link to in the description below which means I can attach it to any item easily and provides a secure fitting to the AirTag. So that's the long awaited AirTag from Apple, another product that positions itself firmly in the Apple ecosystem and encourages adopters to purchase with its good value comparable to the good offerings from Tile and Samsung with the SmartTag. A great idea if you're prone to losing items frequently and want to be able to find them not only in your home with precision finding but also outside your home if they're lost and found by someone else. And why not try what I did? Attach an AirTag to your pet. How cute does that look? Just remember not to play any of the high-pitched alert sounds if you do. I've seen videos of people tracking their travel luggage, particularly useful if you don't happen to be in the same location as your luggage. Instead of potentially never seeing it again, at least you'll have a chance of knowing where it could be and being reunited with it. It'll be interesting to see what the uptake of AirTags will be and how early adopters will approach to displaying them, whether that'll be on open display so others can see them or privately inside of a bag or piece of luggage, probably like how I will do it. Will we see a future where swarms of luggage and bags all appear with air tags on, or is this just a fad for the few? I suppose only time will tell. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one.